to fix the man, teachers, judges, and my dear friends. My son Olivia from Second C. Today, I'm going to marry a story on the wise cock and the wicked fox. Let us enjoy hearing the story of the wise cock and the wicked fox. Once there lived a wise cock in a village. He did his duties well. He crowed early in the morning, waited the folk for the daily call. One day, the cock was taking rest on a tree top. Tree top. A wicked fox passed that way. The fox looked up. And said the handsome cock perched on the tree. The fox decided to eat the cock. So he sat in the tree. Was it possible? Hello, dear cock. I bring you news from heaven. There's a new order laid for us. Now our birds, all birds and animals, shall become friends. And live together in peace. The cock was astonished. He asked, "Is it true?" The fox replied, "Yes, of course. If you would like to test it, why not come down?" The cock began to think wise. He said, "Won't you wait a minute? A few of our friends are coming along." The cock, the fox, was surprised. Yeah, friends, who are coming? What do you mean? The cock answered, "I can see some hounds coming. Let us wait for them." Hearing the word hounds, the fox got annoyed. He started running away. The cock asked, "Why are you running?" What happened to our friendship? The only reply was, "Forget it." The cock smiled as he buried his head in his feathers and went to sleep, for he had succeeded in outwitting a very crafty enemy. Moral of my story is. Wise men can unveil wickedness. Friends, it's very difficult finding a honest friend. So, be wise when you make friendship with a stranger. Thank you all for listening to my story.